Hello friends, welcome to Technoi channel. This is the part 2 of the HTML tutorial series. In the last tutorial, we have explained how to use title tag and it will appear in the top. And we uh, discuss about h1 to h6 tag, how it is appearing over here. And if you use mark, how it is highlighted, right? And then we discuss about the link to give, give a Google. And we are using del tag, insert, and uh, sup superscript, subscript, and also we use some block code. So today we'll continue from there. Okay, let me clear the HTML and the browser window so that we can start from beginning. Okay, so let us start with the address tag. So this is the address tag is used for other program to, you know, uh, get hold of this address. So we can uh, write some example like John Smith. We can use the name. It's up to us. 63 Elizabeth Street, Victoria, Australia. So we can use, uh, so if you click over here, so it is coming into the one line. If you want to split into multiple line, so we can do that. Okay, so if you see it is coming as a little bit uh, italic manner. So this is the address tag. Okay. So let me uh, explain about one uh, more, you know, tag. This is a side tag. So the holy book. By James Bond. Uh, let us wrap this uh, inside a paragraph tag. Okay. Uh, and uh, see, <clears throat> this is the way it uh, you know be seen on the browser. The Holy Book by James Bond. So each browser will differ a little bit slightly. So instead of much relying on this kind of tag, it is recommended to use CSS styles so that they will get a consistent look and feel across all the browser. And uh, let me create another paragraph. Don't settle. Okay. So this is a simple quotation by Steve Jobs. So we just write a paragraph. Then there is a also video take. Video take will, be, will you know, uh, this is, this take is quite interesting. I, it is not used that frequent, frequently. RTL. See, it reverse the you know direction of the don't settle in by just giving the direction RTL uh, right uh, to left or we can give LTR which is the uh, normal you know so it is prompting me also so don't settle so you can change the direction of the text so in Arabic, uh, Arab, Arabic text, usually they are from right to left. In most other country, it is left to right. Okay. Then the next take will discuss about the code. So we can write code. So we can define some variable. Variable name is equal to classes. Okay. Then we we can write some function hello world so this is for the display purpose only okay something here so I, I used to write something here a lot so you can just type anything whatever you please so and also better to let let us put a break over here so that it will come to the next line. See, the formatting of this particular thing is a little bit different, but it is not recognizing the, you know, 
line code but uh, other thing it is displaying in some other style which is more readable for the code but if you want to preserve this uh, different line and spaces so you can use another you know HTML tag which is known as PRE pre so see so it is looking great so this way we can display the, the tag. Also, there are less common uh, tags are available. For example, variable, you know, e equal to something like that. This is the variable e is equal to mc square, right? So I have a little bit mistake in it. It doesn't matter. So you can create this variable will be declared in a different format. Okay. Also, this height element is uh, quite important. Here we can write any uh, CSS style sheet. So for example, style. Okay, so inside the style tag, we can write a bunch of CSS tag. For example, let's say we declare a body. And I won't go into detail about the CSS, how to write, how to render. I'll create a separate tutorial for that. This is just for example sake. So I can write background. Okay, and background color. So little bit uh, FF ABCs. It, it's just for testing. It doesn't matter which color you use. See, the background color is changed. So this style tag can be used. Okay. For example, if you would like to, it is always recommended to create another file. Okay. So let us create another file. For example, style dot CSS and paste this particular you know css over there and uh, instead of using this is known as inline style set and we will use an external style set for that we have to use link tag so if i click link it is autocomplete so there are two attribute one is ariel which gives the type of this particular link. It is a style sheet. And in this href, we can specify the, you know, our CSS file name. In our case, style.css. Okay. Once we save it. Yeah. So it is still able to change. We are not seeing change. Let us try to change this color. Okay. Our def, something different color. See? We have changed to different color. Let's say we want to change to tomato. There is one more color. I love it. Actually, that is not a tomato. It is a little bit orange color. So this, by this, you explain about how to use the inline CSS and outline CSS. Okay. So slowly, I'll teach you uh, about creating, you know, other tag as well. So let us get rid of this, you know, take today. Okay. Otherwise, I'll create a take over here. So we can create a table over here. So I think we don't need this uh, CSS anymore, or, or maybe that previous color word would be better, right? A B C or whatever D F. I don't know which color I have used earlier. No, this is okay. So we can, inside this body, we can create a table tag. Inside this table, we can create, you know, rows. Okay, so we can create as many rows as we want. And inside the row, we can create the TD. TD means this is the column. So we'll just create one, uh, one row with two column. So let's say giving Steve, Jobs as is 62. So we we just create one table 
where it is okay this is here okay so let's give some break over here okay we save it okay keep the switch though but you see it is not looking as a you know anything like a table so we can use uh, something on a style over here or I think we can give border one one strand per one pixel so this is the border we can give so we can decorate there are two lines coming so we can decorate as for our whistles we can give padding we can give spacing margin so most of the property usually controlled by CSS not by you know table so we can Okay, we will just repeat this uh, row one more time so that you will see uh, two rows over here. Nicholas, some some other name, fifty two. Okay, so this is this is the way you can create a uh, you know rows, and these are the column. The first column is you know your name and second is the age so just to differentiate between that you can create another you know tier take and instead of giving t d you can very well use td as well but you can use uh, table header okay table header so here you can give name and another header would be age so the name and age so if you notice over here, they are center aligned and as well as bold in color. And also we can, if you still would like to separate between this uh, tier as well as this group of tier, so we can create another tag known as T head. Okay, inside this T head, you can copy paste this particular he header part. So it won't change anything as such. But it is a better way to organize your code. So here you can write T body. So which will you can use the style C to you know control the look and feel, behavior, and other things. Okay, there is no change, but this is just for the organization of the code only. So hope you understood about this, you know, tier. And also there is uh, one more thing. Uh, we can use caption. This is name and age of famous personality. So something caption we can give. So it is coming on the top, or we can put in the bottom. So it will give an, a little bit explanation about what this table is all about. And definitely we can control, you know, the size of it or the, whether it should be multiple lines. So a lot of things we can do over here so this was about the part two of this tutorial and today i have explained about address and the site and the direction of the text something a lot of variable and i have explained about the code and the pre-tag and also touched upon the how to embed the style sheet both in line as well as external and also we discuss about creating a table different rows table data and uh, giving caption or table head and uh, table body hope you enjoy my videos so if you like this please click like button below and subscribe to it so that you will get an update to all the future videos have a nice day guys and uh, keep coming thanks very much for watching have a nice day bye bye